Once again, Prime Minister Stephen Harper and the Conservatives fail at basic math and reading comprehension. Today, Harper said that a majority of Canadians agree with his party's position that cannabis should remain prohibited, and pledged additional millions of dollars to combat grow operations. Even though a poll commissioned by the federal government last year showed that a mere 14% of Canadians say cannabis laws should remain as they are, meaning a vast majority of people disagree with Harper's opinion, the Conservative leader still says Canadians back the war on cannabis, but with at least 70% of Canadians supporting cannabis law reform, either Harper cannot handle percentages or he can't read. Harper said his opposition to cannabis comes from the data gathered in jurisdictions that have already legalized the plant, like Colorado and Washington State. He said cannabis becomes more readily available to children, more people become addicted, and the plant harms its users. Apparently Harper hasn't noticed the tax revenue these states generate from cannabis or the money saved on enforcement, the decrease in traffic fatalities, the increase in jobs and tourism, or the fact that a majority of people in these jurisdictions voted to legalize cannabis where they live. Not only is Harper opposed to legalization, he announced that if his party is re-elected in October, they'll increase the federal government's war on drugs. He pledged an additional four and a half million dollars per year for the RCMP to combat drug labs and cannabis grow ops, on top of the 22 million the agency already receives to fulfill this function. This harsh stance will likely cost the Conservative Party votes this October. According to a poll released in June by Forum Research, about 53% of Canadians say they're likely to switch their vote to a party willing to legalize cannabis. More importantly for Harper, a whopping 34% of conservative voters say they're likely to switch their vote to support cannabis legalization. So does Harper really not know that a majority of Canadians oppose increased cannabis enforcement? Or can he not read or do basic math? What's more likely is that he's lying to Canadians. It wouldn't be the first time and won't be the last.